Hi, and welcome to the Kaplan Connect. I'm your host, Fire Chief Scott Freitag. With me today, the dynamic duo of human resources for CAFMA, <laughs> Patty and Lacey. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. I know Lacey's excited. She's been chomping at the bit to get here, and I keep having to put her off until later. I'm like, Lacey, I know you're excited. Oh, so excited. That's <laughs> one word for it, for sure. <laughs> You know, it would be fun is to have her and our new finance specialist who happens to share a similar name yes. because they're sisters. Yeah. Some DNA uh, on here together because they're both super quiet. Yes. Can you hear that, Logan? <laughs> You're next. So people would have to turn their, their volume way up just to hear <laughs> anything. So, but what we're here today to talk about is you are adding to your team because Karen's retiring. So wanted to talk to you about what... What is HR? What are you looking for in a new person? What do you hope to find? Absolutely. I can start and then I'll let Lacey chime in as as she sees fit. Okay. Um, but uh, basically for people that don't know what HR does, we handle all the benefits, workers' compensation, um, onboarding and offboarding, recruiting, hiring. Um, what am I missing? Uh, uh, hiring. Re retirement, <laughs> terminations. Um, so... My division handles all of that and supports um, all of the firefighters, ops and non-ops and all of those things. So we're looking for someone to come on board. It doesn't have to be somebody that has HR experience. It okay. could be someone um, that wants to learn. We're happy to teach. And uh, just someone that um, can learn quickly, is excited, uh, wants to work for CAFMA, and wants to be part of our team is really what we're looking for. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So Lacey... Because if I don't ask you a direct question, you may not say anything. Um, what specifically are you looking for in a new team member in HR? I think that, um, like Patty said, we want somebody who's really willing to work collaboratively with us in a team environment okay. and really want to learn it. Um, government HR can be a little bit different from other fields when they, in HR, right. and um, it's kind of a learning curve. So, you know, even if you've done HR at cybersecurity <laughs> or, you know... Um, for Ross or the hospital or someplace like that, you're going to have to still have that learning curve, especially right. with our um, pension retirement systems. I don't think uh, PSPRS is known for being simple or easy. Or consistent um, or efficient or even right. good. <laughs> and then that's not uh, – to even mention all of the, like, uh, government unique specific reporting requirements that right. our division sometimes has, you know, with – the EOC and OSHA and all of that. So somebody who's just willing to kind of come in and be our team member and learn all of that and then, you know, be willing to have feedback, you know, and grow with us as a team because we, I think we both see the HR division right. going different places than where it is currently. Right. So it'd be really great, you know, to have somebody who's willing to have that vision and come in and achieve that with us. So neither of you when you were hired here actually had governmental human resources experience. No. Uh, Lacey, you were still pretty new to HR, um, but you were taking classes at NAU. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. And I had been doing a job that was labeled as quality assurance specialist, mm -hmm. which is a fun way to say you're going to do HR work, but we're okay. not going to pay you HR money. <laughs> Perfect. Um, but that was all through healthcare. And that's what my background is actually mostly in is the healthcare industry. Okay. And Patty, you weren't part of government. You were working for a small startup cybersecurity yep. firm. Yeah. How was that transition for you coming into a governmental entity and then specifically a fire department? Well, like Lacey said, it's it's unique and there's been a lot to learn uh, about um, just the policies and procedures, the culture, mm -hmm. the way things function. So it's um, in a way, it's nice to have someone with government experience, but we can, you can totally learn it. Uh, we both learned it yep. and, um, I'm still learning every day so much, but, um, it's, I actually really like it because it's very structured. It's very right. there. The processes are very clear. Most of the time, the policies are very clear. So that makes my job a lot easier right. when I can go to, yeah, you know, this is the policy, this is the process. So Lacey, how's it been for you? Um, it's been a big learning curve. Um, I kind of took a left step into the HR field. That's not where I really saw my career going when I first started it. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. The fire service is awesome. I love all the people here. And, um, you know, it's always changing. It's not consistent. So even if you know everything going in, you'll have to change that in six months anyways. So. 
Uh, we do work for a dynamic organization that's changing. Yeah. We're growing, so we need more HR help. So we need to get somebody on board here pretty soon uh, based on our three-year staffing plan mm -hmm. for both operations and non-ops. And what we're seeing is the potential in the next four or five years of a lot of hiring. I think one of the opportunities here that people might like to know about is we're not just going to bring you into HR and sequester you um, and then make you sit down and talk to firefighters when they come in the building. We actually offer opportunities to go out, meet them, have some flexibility, go take that ride along and learn more about the people that you're working with. Um, and Patty, you just went through Fire Ops 101 last weekend. How did, did, do you feel like that experience helped you at all better understand what the firefighters here do? Absolutely. Um, they are our customer and participating in Fire Ops 101 allowed me to learn a lot more about what their job mm -hmm. entails, physically, mentally, how taxing it is. And that helps me to better support them. So that it was really eye opening for me. And I mm -hmm. and I've been here a bit, not quite a year, but I've I thought that I kind of knew what they did, but I learned a lot on Saturday for sure. Well, and uh, with the ride alongs as well. So mm -hmm. fire ops gives you kind of that introduction to what's it like to actually do the job, put on the gear, go to a call, do those things. But the ride alongs are important too, because then you get to know the people on more of a personal level, see the interactions day to day in the fire stations, because it's different in a lot of ways than other professions because of the type A personalities and the satellite locations. Mm -hmm. Um, in the whining, <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Where? Yeah, Where? <clears throat> that it, it, that's not ever present. Well, yes, it is. Never mind. We're going to move on. But the opportunity to, to visit with folks and really get to know them. And, and we talk about being a family organization. And I think that's something for someone coming to look uh, at a position with CAFMA. We really try to, to, to put out there and show that our focus is on family and personal development and growth. Lacey, what, what's your experience been? Uh, my experience here at CAFMA has been fantastic. I will have worked here four years in September, so yay. Um, but I know I had a baby within my first year of employment here at CAFMA, and I very much fully expected to sort of be like phased out and fired and all of that stuff, because that seems That's to illegal. be- That's illegal. It is, but <laughs> you'd be surprised how many companies mm -hmm. kind of managed to do that. Um, and I had a difficult pregnancy with my son, and instead of being um, phased out, fired, all of that stuff, especially because I didn't technically qualify for FMLA, I hadn't worked here a year. Um, the CAFMA all came together. They donated leave for me that enabled me not only to get the medical care that I needed while I was pregnant, mm -hmm. but to stay home with my baby afterwards. And he's going to be two. Um, well, he is two. He's going to be three on Halloween this year. Um, he's so cute, too. He's yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. He's wild, um, mm -hmm. but adorable, and it's really just been a fantastic experience. Um, I know the couple times I've needed to bring my kids in with me because, you know, we all went through COVID and the pandemic yeah. and the school closures. Um, it was never an issue. I just set them up with coloring books and brought blocks, and we did the thing, and it's always been good. I've never felt not supported while working here, and that's rare in an organization. Well, and, and that's that's what we hope uh, to have as an organization overall, but it's also the support that we hope that our folks see from the HR division, right? Because you're the face of the organization in many ways to our people and their significant others and their kids, their families overall. So we're looking for somebody that's dynamic, that has the right character, that will work well with the two of you and, and develop over a period of time. And for people people interested, if they want to know more about CAFMA as an organization and our overarching philosophies, then go to the front page of the website and take a look at our CAFMA Compass, mm -hmm. which really delves deep into our philosophies, mission, vision, values. Um, it's written for firefighters, so there's like pictures embedded because the tension span, very short, um, and that way they don't lose completely lose their place as they space out. Uh, and it's only seven pages long. Uh, because it's a lot of reading to get through with big font and pictures. 
Oh, that's a great so, suggestion. I did that before I interviewed was to go to the web page to look at the mission, vision, um, the strategic plan, mm -hmm. the compass, all of that. It gives a really good um, – I think it gives a candidate a really good idea of what CAFMA is all about um, and what our our mission is and what our values are right. and if you're going to be a good fit for that. And that's the key for us. We hire every position in this organization the same way. It's for fit for the organization. We can teach people the technical side of things. We can teach people governmental human resources. Um, but if you're not the right fit, then it, it's going to be hard to teach you how to be the right fit. You have to already be in that mindset. And that that's not saying there's a problem with the, our organization or any person. It's just that different organizations have different cultures and you have to find the fit for you. Mm -hmm. So while you're coming to us and you're really interviewing us as you go through the process, um, to see if this is the place you want to be, we're doing the same thing, trying mm -hmm. to find the right fit. Um, because you're a tight knit team and there's a tremendous amount of work to be done in oh, yes. human resources as we move forward. There's some gaps, some policies, some SOGs that you both have been working on. And then just the changes in insurance. Yeah. Yes, we're in open enrollment right now. <laughs> it's busy. So if I don't respond, then it just stays the same, right? It is. Yes. It's a passive enrollment. And we do that because, like you said, sometimes firefighters don't always read everything. And no. if we uh, changed that, there'd be a lot of people here without insurance, and we don't want that for them or their families. So it's a passive enrollment. Well, and there's another program that I think it's important to highlight that HR runs for us, and it's the Partners Academy. Mm -hmm. And that's where all of our employees can have their significant others come in and sit down and for a day learn about the fire department, the fire service, learn about their benefits, their retirement, the health care, um, learn about the things that impact firefighters in the field, cancer mitigation efforts, uh, mental and behavioral health. And you put those programs together for those folks. And then because firefighters are, well, let's face it, we're, we're professional. But with things like insurance, we're kind of irresponsible. So we don't always pass the information along to our significant others. So we have a partner's email list that you all manage. Mm -hmm. And that way, everything that's sent out internally goes to the partners as well, Yes, which is super helpful for me because I totally miss the open enrollment thing. And then when I did see it, I'm like, oh, well, it went to Jen. So. It's already taken care of. We should be good. <laughs> yeah. She's got you. I, I recently sent out a save the date for that Partners Academy, so everybody should have gotten that, and the partners should have gotten it. It'll be happening on September 30th um, at Admin, and I'm working on building that agenda right now. So it should be a great day. Perfect. Yeah, it'll be – it's always good to have folks in, and we do partner with the city of Prescott mm -hmm. for that. We do. Uh, so there's significant others come in, and we work with their HR. I think that's another thing that we've developed, Patty, since you came in is – there is a direct working relationship between human resources and the city of Prescott and human resources at CAFMA. Can you talk a little bit to that? Sure. Um, I work very closely with Melissa, Brandon, and the HR team over at um, city of Prescott. I, um, you know, it's, it can be challenging in HR. We just like every division, you know, we we deal with things. But sometimes you stuff comes up, and you just need an opinion, or mm -hmm. um, you need to bounce something off, or you want to. We want to know what they're doing, so we make sure that we're being consistent or competitive or whatever mm -hmm. it is. So Melissa and I go back and forth, having that relationship as. As you know, having that relationship with um, the chief there is just really yeah. important and makes both of us, I think, stronger agencies. Right. Well, I think that's, that's another characteristic that I like of this agency is that our divisions think more globally than just CAFMA. And we encourage that training and those opportunities to go out to other places to learn and see what other entities and, and people are doing so that we can measure it against what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, some of it is law. Right. So we don't really have a choice. But some of it is what are some, what are other things that we could provide through HR that would be better. One of those I want to talk to you to a little bit about is so we do a lot of the harassment training, the federally required harassment training mm -hmm. online. And basically what we know is that when you're doing it online, the probably the newest person in the fire station has to sit there for everybody and hit the buttons until the thing goes away. It's not effective. Mm -mm. 
So we have talked collectively about a, a, a different approach, not always in person, but more personal and developed internally covering the federal. Can you talk about that a little sure. bit? Sure. Um, Yes, I ideally would love to develop a training that I can go and give in person at mm-hmm. the stations. Um, right now, it just isn't um, feasible logistically right. with the amount of people we have and the amount of stations and shifts mm-hmm. that there are. But one thing that I am working on with our new, um, with the training system we're using, Vector, mm-hmm. we can insert a video into their already made video. Mm -hmm. So what I'm working on is creating just a short um, video of myself talking Mm -hmm. about CAFMA, our policies um, around sexual harassment, workplace violence, whatever the training is, to just give them a little bit about this is CAFMA's policy, Mm -hmm. this is what you can do, this is who I am if you have a question. It's not ideal, but it's better, I think, than just clicking through. And at at some point... I hope to have, um, you know, a live training that's delivered at the stations. But until we get there, baby steps, and I think creating some kind of video that's a little more personalized, even if that's all they watch and they go to the test, at least they got something. <laughs> I think that's kind of part of the vision where we'd like to see HR mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. get to, you know, once we have um, a little more resources and time and more staff, you know, we can. Right. Because that's a very time intensive project. It is. And even for that, using the studio today, Jonah is back with us because Kathy is in training in Phoenix. Okay. Um, But we're finding already that Kathy in that new position is overwhelmed with Mm -hmm. the amount of work because there's a lot of divisions, including HR, that would like to do some videos because that's one of the best ways for us to get out because we're so spread out Mm -hmm. over 369 square miles. And so this is a good resource, Mm -hmm. but we have one, two people that can do it. And Jonah's trying to balance all of his other responsibilities and support Kathy in this. So I think there's opportunity there to get more out, to do more things. I think we have a great HR division and I look forward to what you all are going to do um, when the, we find the new person. How many applications do we have as of today? Do you know? As of today, mm-hmm. we have 20 applications. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so when does the application period cl- close? May 4th. May 4th. So uh, the applications are open. Yeah. Yeah. May the 4th be with you. (laughs) Oh, got it. Okay. Not familiar with that one. (laughs) Now you know. (laughs) Now I know. So I know uh, September 19th is talk like a pirate today. So if we can align something with that, that'd be great. Okay. Mark Uh, that on my calendar. (laughs) So applications are open through May 4th. They can be found on where? Our website. Okay. And you can submit everything on the website? You can. And if there's any complications or you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to us. Our email's on there. Okay. Um, Straight to HR. You can always call and ask to talk to us. I've spoken to three people today just about potential job openings. So we're very available and responsive. Excellent. So our website is cazfire.gov for anybody wanting to visit the website through May 4th to get your applications in. The process will start when? Then after May 4th. We will um, be contacting candidates that are eligible to come in for the oral interview, mm-hmm. and that interview is going to take place on May 16th. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so it'll be a couple weeks after the application closes, and we're really hoping to have somebody in place by the 1st of June. Okay. And um, another thing just to highlight is the, the hours. We've had some questions about that, too. So it's Monday through Thursday from 7 to 5. Yes. So Why did I all of a sudden forget right. when I work? Um, <laughs> so, at the moment that is most important. Yeah, all know. of a yeah. sudden, I can't remember my schedule at all. So I think that's one nice perk is the the long weekends. Of course, we have our medical, dental, vision, mm-hmm. the retirement. Yes. Um, we are what pensioned are the benefits? employees yep. here. Mm-hmm. So that means if you earn your pension, you get a payment every month until the day that you die which is different from a 401k because that's a bucket of money that will eventually run out. A pension does not. So that's a pretty big deal. Not a lot of people have that nowadays. Unless it's PSBRS. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah. Well, we're in ASRS, so a little bit different. You're in the one that's managed well. (laughs) Yes. You said it, not us. I know. (laughs) Yeah. So in addition to working at a great place with a great team, we have amazing benefits. So I would really encourage anyone that's interested, even if they don't have HR experience, to submit an application. That's great. Well, thank you both for coming in. We're going to go ahead and close this one out for this week because I see on the timer that we're closing in on the 20 minute maximum that I've been given. That went fast. So it did go by fast. So uh, thank you both for coming in. Uh, For now, if you have an interest in applying with us, cazfire.gov.